Hey, what's going on guys? Chris from Blu-ray Critic back with something a little different here. Uh, in this case, I got a collection of DVD films that I bought uh, a long time ago. Probably around the time when uh, you know Blu-ray was just beginning or before that. And uh, these are the films that I would watch more uh, most frequently, which is why I have it in this case. So let's get started and see what I have. I pretty much forgot what I got in here, so let's get started. So, let's see. What is this? Old School with Will Ferrell. Great fun film. Seabiscuit with Tobey Maguire. Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hanks, directed by Steven Spielberg. Really great movie and uh, recently debuted on uh, Blu-ray in a really beautiful uh, uh, edition. The uh, picture quality is stunning on that Blu-ray release. Underrated film, Gangs of New York, directed by uh, Martin Scorsese. This had a really bad uh, release on uh, Blu-ray, but then they re-released it again, which the second time around was a lot better. Daredevil with Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner and of course his wife and they met on set another underrated classic uh, Once Upon a Time in America with Robert De Niro and James Woods great film though I really like that one Bringing Down the House with Steve Martin The Jungle Book 2 and I do appreciate good animation um, technically the animation wasn't great on this one but I'm a fan of the original classic The Jungle Book so I had to get part 2 this was one of those straight to DVD films. Nightmare on Elm Street, the uh, original version. Trading Places, great film with Dan Aykroyd and uh, Eddie Murphy, and he's just hilarious in that one. Mystic River, and one of my favorite Mark Wahlberg films, The Italian Job, of course, with Charlize Theron as well. Desperado, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, great film. Vin Diesel and Amad Apart, and this is one of those forgotten Vin Diesel films because you know he's known for doing movies like The Fast and the Furious, The Chronicles of Riddick, but uh, I really enjoy that one. Anger Management with Adam Sandler, Jack Nicholson, fun film. Bulletproof Monk, The Hunted, my friend's actually in this film, he's one of the hunters in the opening sequence when you see two hunters out in the forests of Oregon. He's the Latino guy, Eddie Velez, great guy, great friend. Identity, great film. Let's see, No Country for Old Men. This is actually a, a screener edition. Daddy Daycare with Eddie Murphy. Rebel Without a Cause. Very young. Miami Vice. Monster in Law with Jennifer Lopez. And the only reason I got this is to uh, watch uh, J Lo, because I like J Lo, but not necessarily the movie. But yeah. And White Chick. So once again, my friend Eddie Velez is in this film. He's one of the detectives. He's the guy with the spiky hair. The Santa Claus. Great family film. Um, instant classic. Great Christmas film. Um, love this one. Uh, the sequel is not so much, but this one was one of the best uh, films, in my opinion, as far as Christmas uh, comedies. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Eh, I don't know really. I really don't know what to say about this one. I think it was unnecessary for them to remake the film because Dean Wilder's uh, version is just absolutely beautifully told and it sh just should have been left untouched and he recently came out and said that uh, he's not happy with this version of the film and I agree with him but anyhow let's move on Soul Plane Secret Window with Johnny Depp Malibu's Most Wanted slapstick comedy Laura Canyon this is a uh, one of those uh, forgotten films as well it stars actually Christian Bale, Batman himself, along with Kate Beckinsale. And Kate Beckinsale looks pretty hot in this one, but uh, this doesn't even have a uh, Blu-ray release, so hopefully sometime uh, they'll release it. But a great film, I really enjoyed this one. And uh, Francis McDormand's in this one as well, so definitely check out Laura Canyon. Bruce Almighty, Hollywood Homicide with Harrison Ford and Josh Hartnett. And this recently debuted on uh, Blu-ray with one of those double pack editions. I'm not uh, too crazy about this film though, it was okay, it wasn't great or anything, but uh, I like the whole scenery of LA in this film. Matrix Reloaded and Matrix Revolutions, great films, of course uh, I like Matrix Reloaded better, uh, but the original one was the best one, the original Matrix, I got that somewhere in its case. Open Range with Kevin Costner, Robert Duvall, great western. Punked, the complete first season. I really enjoyed Punked. Um, I'm surprised it never released uh, season two or three. I guess the sales on season one wasn't all that great. So, plus they kept showing it on MTV over and over again, so people kind of got sick of it, I guess. Schindler's List, uh, which has a really beautiful release on uh, Blu-ray. I recently did a uh, 
a uh, review on that one. You can check in my videos on that one. But uh, great film. Can't say enough about this film. So, Gothica. This is one of those forgotten films as well. Um, Robert De Niro, uh, I'm sorry, Robert uh, De Niro is one of his first roles after the whole drug stint that he was going through. So it was like the the return of his comeback in this film. So great movie too. It was of course stars uh, Halle Berry. The Rundown and one of his first films. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake. Hulk with Eric Bana. It was okay. They uh, did a remake after this one was a lot better. So, When a Stranger Calls. And which one's this one? Uh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind with uh, George Clooney and I believe Drew Barrymore. Master and Commander with uh, Russell Crowe. Scary Movie 3. Ghosts of the Abyss. Uh, great documentary on Titanic. Of course, directed and produced by uh, James Cameron. Now I'm looking forward to the uh, documentary he's going to do on... Um, the Mariana Trench where you know he went to the deepest part of the ocean that's gonna be amazing I heard he's gonna do like one of those IMAX 3D uh, theatrical debuts on that one so we'll see what what's uh, cooking with that one when that's released Shrek 2 and Garfield the movie so thanks guys for checking out this uh, usually a rather different uh, update so thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next update take care